In this first example, let's choose to add up sine waves. For the red wave, one complete wavelength fits in the box. It's represented by sine of x, and the multiplier at the top is plus 1 times sine x. For the orange wave, two full wavelengths fit across the box. The orange wave is represented by sine of 2x, and the multiplier at the top is plus 0 0.47. In the lower region of the screen, we see the sum of the red and the orange waves. The Fourier series here is going to be the sum of the first 11 waves, where 1 through 11 wavelengths fit across the box. The Fourier series at the bottom is f of x equals 1 times sine x plus 0.47 times sine of 2x plus 0.94 times sine of 3x minus 0.21 sine of 4x, and so on. Adding just a small number of sine waves produces funny hills and valleys in the sum at the bottom. Mathematically, you can work in reverse. Any function f of x can be decomposed into a set of multiples of sines and cosine functions. Each of the multiples or coefficients are found using these integrals. If f of x is an even function, then all the coefficients bn are zero. If f of x is an odd function, then all the coefficients a sub n are zero. For example, if we represent the odd function, f of x equals x, across the region from minus pi to pi, we get these results. The coefficient a zero is found first of all, and that is zero in this case. The coefficient b sub n is found with this integral to be minus 1 to the n plus 1 power. We then have our function f of x equal x to be equal 2 times sine of 1x minus sine of 2x over 2 plus sine of 3x over 3, and so on. By the way, if you set x equal to pi over 2, then you find this series representation of pi. Going back to the PHET software, we represent f of x equals x with a series of sine functions whose coefficients alternate in numerical sign and go as 1 over n. The coefficient a1 is 1, a2 is minus a half, a3 is plus a third, a4 is minus a quarter, a5 is plus a fifth, a6 is minus a sixth, a7 is plus a seventh and so on. We see that adding together just the first 11 terms, our sum is already looking like f of x equal to x. When the discrete sum over index n becomes continuous, then we have the Fourier transform. The Fourier transform of function f of x is said to be f of k. In this integration, after the limits are done, Variable x no longer appears on the right hand side, but variable k still does appear, and so the right and left hand sides are both functions of k. The numerical version is said to be the fast Fourier transform. It's used to find which frequencies comprise any given signal. The musical instrument we hear is producing this set of frequencies.